We could all use a mood booster every now and then and Tiffany Hall knows five surefire ways to help you feel good. Exercise is great for your physical fitness, but it's also wonderful for your emotional well-being. The same happy hormones are produced when you exercise as when you fall in love. So today I'm sharing with you my top five mood movers to make you feel happy and well. I love cycling because you can do it outside in the fresh air. It's low impact, you can do it at your own pace and it's as easy, well, as riding a bike. Pushing the pedals can be a solo sport or a great way to spend some time with family and friends, like these ladies who meet up every week. Why do you love cycling? I feel energetic, positive, just sets me up for a perfect day ahead. And you know what? It doesn't matter what age you are, it's just getting out there and doing it. My next mood move packs a little more punch. Hey, Tiff, how are you going? Hi, Jason. So when people come to you for a boot camp, what do they hope to get out of a boot camp? Uh, well, we focus on full body movements, as you can see here. So it's going to maximise your work in the session, yep. but also going to maximise the benefits later on. You're not only burning calories in the session, are you? Yeah, it's burning. always so the afterburn as well. The afterburn. Yep. You know, you're building a lot of stronger, leaner muscles, which means yep. you burn more calories during the day. So well, that's got to boost your mood. Having fun together, there's nothing exactly. better. So uh, can I join in? Certainly. A a combination of cardio and strength training is guaranteed to boost your mood. By increasing the production of serotonin levels in the brain, exercise works as a natural antidepressant. Three, two, one, and time! We are done! High five! <laughs> Woo! Done, done, done! Well, thank you, Jason, for such a wonderful session. Thank you, guys. Tai Chi in the park. This is beautiful. Can you please yeah. explain to me a little bit about Tai Chi? Where does it come from? Tai Chi is from China mm -hmm. and uh, it dates back to about the 16th century. It was originally done as a martial art. Mm -hmm. uh, for most of us now, it's practiced for its health benefits. Mm -hmm. What are the health benefits to Tai Chi? Where do I start? It's also been linked to improvements in people with diabetes, really? heart disease, yeah. arthritis. Great mentally, so people with depression, mm -hmm. schizophrenia, people that are just stressed at work. I can't wait to try it. So in Chinese medicine uh -huh. principles, they believe in meridians. They also have an energy flow system. If that doesn't work properly, we get sick. So, so this moving is the body the in a certain way, yeah, it's keeping it all moving evenly. Whew, I'm feeling very zen right now. But if this isn't quite your pace, then I've got something for you. Ah! Smashing things is a stress relief concept that's really catching on. Cool. Wow. Love your work, Tiff. How was that? That is one of the funnest things I've ever done. It's yeah. just the best stress release and getting that poisonous cortisol out of your system, it's really good for you. It's not every day you're like really giving it everything yeah. you got. Big dynamic movements, Absolutely. heart rate was up for sure. Skyrockets. We have folks come in and they look wearing their heart rate monitors. Yeah. It just goes through the roof. One of the best things about this experience is that I feel less stressed. I think I need one of these in my house. Definitely, definitely. We'll, we'll hook you up. Thank you. Up. Oh. oh, so sweet. Now, the thing is, I noticed that Tiffany only had four of her tips. Was she so happy she didn't need the last one? Uh-uh-uh. Look, it's kind of my thing. Her number one has a lot to do with puppies. It's actually pat a dog. Oh, that yeah. is the number one tip for feeling good. They have a really profound effect on our body, and just a simple pat like this, what happens is you release feel-good hormones like oxytocin or serotonin. So the, the great thing is we release the hormones when we actually pat them but research found they actually release the same hormones as well. Um, this is, these are 12-week-old guide dog puppies. Uh, we've got Innes and this Icon. This one's Icon, so mm. cute. Can we keep him, can we keep him, yeah. can we keep him? They're so I, cute. Well, kind of, you can. I mean, guide dogs are actually looking for puppy raisers to take on dogs like, like these two and actually take them through to a year of age. They get to do a bit of training during that time but just really let them grow up in a, in a really nurturing home. And I guess if that is something that is of interest to you, then we have the details uh, on the screen right now. So you may just be able to adopt temporarily a, a guide dog puppy. All right, thank you, Chris. Oh, hello. <laughs>